Hi, I'm Rhys from the Eastern Suburbs School of Music. Today teaching you how to play Downhearted by Australian Crawl on the bass guitar. There'll be three sections to learn. The intro, which is also the verse, the chorus, and a section I'm going to call the accents section. Let's get to the intro and verse right now. So the notes for the verse that we'll need to play. We'll start on D, which can be found 5th fret of your 3rd string. That's 1, 2, 3 up from the bottom. D, and then straight up to A, top string 5th fret. And a similar pattern now, but moving it to 3rd fret. C, 3rd fret, 3rd string. G, 4th fret, 3rd string. Each would last for half a bar each, so what we're getting is 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. What we add to that is what we would call a passing note that makes us move into the chord. If you don't know what passing notes are, just click the little video tab above me or you'll find a link in the comments or description of this video below. A passing note that will pass into the chord that we're moving to. So, how we play this. The chord we're moving to is the D, and the fifth, and we're not talking about fret numbers here, we are talking about musical scales. The fifth note that occurs in the scale, or a fifth away from the note we're moving to, uh, happens to be straight above the D that we're going to move to. So our little pattern now will be top string A, D, A, G, C, G. Where that first note is what we would consider the passing note. That's all you need to know to play the introduction of this song and the verses of this song. Also what backs up the saxophone solo too is this same chord sequence and bass line. As we move from section to section, when we're going into the chorus, we have this little accent of going C, G. Listening to the recording and also listening to my performance play along, click the little video tab above me or find it in the comments, the description of the video below. Um, you'll hear that. So take your time now learning to play along with the introduction, the verse and what backs up the saxophone solo. The chorus of Downhearted. We've got this chord sequence B flat, A, C, G. So a description of where to find those. Where we find the B flat, 6th fret, top string, we'll hit that three times, I'll talk about the rhythm in a moment. Moving back one fifth to 5th to fret on the top string for A, so B flat, 6th fret, A, 5th fret, C, we used it in the verse already, 3rd fret on the 3rd string, and then straight up to G, G, G. That is your chorus. All you need to slot in there as well is the passing note to repeat that sequence. And we hear that coming up right here. C, G, 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 pass B flat. That passing note, fifth fret on your top string, the A, that moves you back to the sixth fret. Choruses, generally the sequence repeats twice. Apart from at the very end of the song, the sequence repeats four times. So let me just play that again. B flat, A, C, G, 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 pass B flat. The rhythm that we're playing here as well is what we would call a kick drum rhythm. The, the bass guitar does lock in with a section of the drum kit, and it's the, the kick drum this time, and is a common rhythm that you will hear in songs. A, C, C, G. Same end 
ending is what we had to finish our intro, our verse, and our sax solo. That's all it takes to play the chorus of Downhearted. Pause this video now, take your time learning the chorus, and when you're ready, we'll get to the final section to learn the accents section. The accents section is what I've labelled this part of the song that goes... So a sequence of notes to follow, they're very disting distinguished in the song, you'll be able to spot what part I'm teaching you now pretty easily by listening to the tune. We'll break it up by doing a batch of three notes followed by a batch of two notes. We base ourselves at D on the third string with your third finger and C also on the third string, third fret with your first finger. First collection of notes, D, C, F. This F, I drop down a string to second string, third fret. We then follow that up with a D, C. So a batch of three notes, a batch of two notes. D, C, F, D, C. Our next batch of three notes. D, C, G this time. Fifth fret of second string. D, C, G. Our two note section for this. B flat, C. First fret of the third string, a B flat. And moving back into our standard position for this section of the song, the C. Both played with first finger makes it easiest. Uh, and that is what I would call the first half of the accent section. Let's recap that. D, C, F. D, C. D, C, G. B flat, C. I'd pause this video, take your time putting that together. When you're ready, unpause it, let's learn the second half. The second half now, D, C, F, once again, so we did that to start the accents, D, C, F, D, C, once again, so there's our block of three and our block of two again, D, C, F, D, C, and to finish out, just a block of three notes, D, C, and a higher B flat, the eighth fret of your second string. Use your dots on your bass guitar, you'll have them at three, five, seven, and nine. Our last note is eight, so between dots seven and nine. And that is everything now that you need to know for this accent section. Let me put it to get all together, slowing it down. One, two, three, four, D, C, F. D, C, D, C, G, B flat, C, D, C, F, D, C, D, C, B flat, the higher one. Accent section done and entire song done. That's our three sections we need to learn to play downhearted on the bass covered. If you've learned something from this video, please click that thumbs up button. Subscribe to our channel, the Eastern Suburbs School of Music. What I'm also gonna do is put some links in the description of this video below. So do access those that will take you to some extra lessons about what passing notes mean. I'll even include a link in there to find the chord chart that you'll see on our Facebook group. Good luck learning downhearted by Australian Crawl on your bass guitar.